Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. So they're really hi highlighting the story quest, eh? so I think I should do the story quest first before I begin the Liyue Archon quest. So maybe I'll do this first. This it keeps highlighting here, so maybe I should do it. Just showing me only lah. Not really I can do yet. I need two keys to do each Each story quest. Okay, so now I only have one, eh? So. <laughs> okay, so I guess story quest will have to wait also. Uh, only Diona, Noel, Barbara, Chong Yun, and Bennett are the ones I can get. I can uh, already start. The others are still locked. Need to complete something. A certain quest first, I think. And this one, all heaven, uh, of course. Okay. Alright then, so story quests aside, I can't do that. So, I guess we'll just concentrate on Archon lah. Maybe the story quest if I do later, so never mind. So let's continue Archon quest for Liyue this time. You want to learn some Favonia's blade work? So where do I go? All the way here, okay. And I already unlocked, uh, not all of the Liyue areas, but... Yeah, most of it, I guess. So let's go here. <laughs> Straight away. I haven't explored this myself. Eh? <laughs> Only when I co op. Oh, ouch. I didn't fly. That was a mistake. Let the show begin. I think I have Barbara to heal now. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay, that's all I need to do to get the special camera. <laughs> camera with a K. Alright, anyway, what's this? If you want to find the Geo Archon, this is the only chance you'll get all year. Okay, that's what Venti said. Guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Otherwise, we definitely would have missed this year's Rite of Dissension. Do you know when it is? Do you know where it is? Where it is? <laughs> knows nothing about where it is. <laughs> okay. Look, we're already in Liyue, so let's go ask some of the locals. Oh, right. About the Geo Archon Morax. Okay, Geo Archon, they call him Morax. Okay. Did you know the Mora that we use is named after this guy? Oh, Mora, Morax. Okay. But it's seen as impolite for people from outside Liyue to refer to the Geo Archon by that name. I see. So we should refer to the Geo Archon by the name Rex Lapis. Like the people of Oh, Leo Rex did. Lapis. Oh, okay. It's a different, they call it different here. Huh? Oops. <laughs> Talk to the locals. Mm, any locals? Alright. No, maybe this is a quest. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, this is the camera thing. Okay. Oh, this is the camera thing again, okay. <laughs> Damn it, I found the quest for the camera by accident, but I'm looking for who am I supposed to talk to locals. I was wondering why I couldn't do the talk to the locals quest. A character is currently involved in other quests, cannot join this quest. Okay, so what, Ji Fang is busy completing justice for book's sake. Oh, okay, then I guess I have to do this first before I continue the Archon quest. God damn it. Alright, let's do this one, Bookworm Swordsman. Does that mean I have to go... Oh, wait. I have to go somewhere here. Oh, I have to go up there again. Guess this is where we go to buy books in Liyue. Should we ask here if they have a copy of the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide? It's super duper interesting! Is that the guy that just now... Ah, Ji Fang, yeah. Ji Fang is this one. Oh, wait. Feel free to look around. Who's the other There's guy? There's no obligation to buy. We're looking for the Liyue volume of the Tibet Travel Guide. Do you have it in stock? Sorry, dear. We stopped stocking that a very long time ago. It just wasn't selling. Huh? But the Mondstadt volume was so interesting! <laughs> Bummer. 
The thing is, the author made it too personal, and the result wasn't really much of a guide. Oh. It barely sold any copies, and the few travelers that did buy it made complaints afterward. Too much passion, not enough clarity. Content was a little too well. Well, that's a shame. The Mondstadt volume was a good read, even just as an adventurer's diary. Hmm. The fact remains that I don't have it in stock. If you must read it, try your luck at Chang the Ninth's place. Chang the Ninth's place? Who's Chang the Ninth? A book collector who lives in Qingzhe village. He's a complete grouch, but he will behave himself if the conversation is about books. Okay. He was a regular customer here back when he lived in Liyue Harbor, and I still sent him the odd out-of-print book or two every now and then. Did somebody say out-of-print books? Oh, it's the, uh, the guy in blue hair, right? Yeah. Who is... Is there a chance that Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd is also in his collection? Who are you? Apologies, ah, Where are my manners? Okay, I've heard of my name. name is Sing Cho. Sing a Kyo. humble literature Kyo. enthusiast Kyo. who happened to be passing by. Okay, Sing Kyo. Uh, Chinese pronunciation. Since you and I are both in search of lost books, what say we travel together to Mount Qingzhe and pay a visit to Chang the Ninth? Uh, sure. Please take the way. My pleasure, fellow book lover. So I guess this is Sing Kyo's uh, story, then. <laughs> Alright then. And the chapter one act one also started. Alright. I've had my heart set on getting hold of a copy of Legend of the Shattered Halberd, volume six for the longest time now. Frankly, I'd be willing to do whatever it takes to get my hands on that book. Okay. Go to Qingse Village and visit Chang the Nine. Oops. I keep climbing up. Um I know I've opened that area. Oh, all the way there. Oh, I guess I didn't open all the areas yet. <laughs> well, luckily I already got this uh, statue. But it's gonna be a long visit then. Alright then, let's go. Ah, I found her. Or him. <laughs> him, okay, Chang oh, the Ninth. Nice smiting me. Smiting me to smithereens. Uh huh. And what do you want? Come on, spit it out. We've heard you've got tons of old books lying around, and we want to borrow the Leo volume of the Tevat Travel Guide. Huh. Don't get me started on the topic of my books. After the chasm was sealed off, the family mining business started going south. The Fatui. Then the Fatui started working to sabotage me. To pay off my debts, I had no choice but to pawn off my beloved book collection. Oh. Every last book. Do you have any idea what that means? Wrong. That was my life's work. I devoted my entire life to curating, collecting, caring for them. And now they're gone. Gone, I tell you. <sighs> It's useless ranting and raving at you like this. All I can do is try to save enough Mora to buy them back. Unless you have other business here, I'm done talking to you. Goodbye. Off you go. Go on, go. Please tell me that you didn't pawn Volume 6 of Legend of the Shattered Halberd. Legend of the Shattered Halberd? <laughs> there is a title <laughs> I haven't heard in a long time. You have good taste, my boy. What? But we don't? <laughs> that work was an epic defining masterpiece. Granted, it was almost unknown at the time it was published, but over time it was the work that came to define the genre of martial arts novels and sparked a plethora of imitation works. Barely any copies of the first edition were ever printed. Whoa. The later edition inexplicably went out of print almost as soon as it was released. A shame given what it allegedly added to the original story. Yes, that's right. How did I forget? The original edition's sixth volume of that work is, is so rare, I could never bring myself to pawn it no matter how much oh. I needed the money. You mean, you mean you still have it? Yes. 
It is my one and only one remaining, remaining treasure. Hey, Chang. Who's this? You've got some nerve keeping me and my boss waiting like this. I need an answer. Will you Chang sell the Core Lapis or not? I'm sure you don't need me to remind you that if you mess with Gentry Mautsai, you're messing with the Fatui. Oh, you again. But you know I can't afford to give a 70% discount on the price. I'd never be able to buy my collection back. Mm. That's your business. The question is, do you want your books or do you want food on your plate? Perhaps you'd like to take your books with you to an early grave. Uh. <sighs> You... <sighs> Whoa there, friend. Come on. This gentleman is either willing to make a deal or he's not. You can't force him to sell against his will. Just who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of other people's business. My liege, I am but one who comes to the aid of this gentleman in his moment of need. I am Tsingcho, disciple of the Guhua clan. <laughs> Guhua clan? Did you hear this clown? He thinks he's a Guhua master in this day and age. <laughs> oh, there was me thinking the last granddads of Guhua had killed over and died by now. <laughs> Who were you supposed to be then, huh? Some sort of Guhua messiah? Justice is blind to our backgrounds, my friend. That just makes me someone trying to do the right thing. But you? The weasel who does the tiger's bidding may be less powerful than his master, but he is no less guilty. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Just you wait. You'll be sorry you crossed me. And you, Chang? You're selling that core lapis whether you like it or not. <sighs> wow. Oh, how the wolves prey upon the fallen tiger. My days are numbered. So, just to come back to what we were talking about earlier, could I get a yay or nay about borrowing <laughs> that book? Jeez Louise, give the man a minute. Situational awareness. Oh, what does it matter now? I can't expect anybody to care about me anymore. But since you did stick up for me, please, just take this book and... Leave me in peace. All right. Three long years I have waited for this day. Words cannot express my gratitude. I, Xingqiu, vow to repay this great act of generosity. All right, give it a rest. Just bring it back when you're finished. Sorry, but I'm not about to put my hopes in some self-professed Guhua disciple. Hmm? Hey, where are you going? We've still got a job to do over here. Look for Sing Cho after he left with the book. Oh, great. Where did he go? <laughs> go, Barbara, go! So, you like reading, huh? Mr. Five Second Hero? Ho oh, ho, amazing! I never saw that coming. Hello? Sing Cho? Anybody in there? No wonder this book is so highly sought <laughs> after. <sighs> that guy back in Chang the Ninth was pretty bossy. That bossy guy sounds like he's working for a gentry Mao Chai. How can they bully poor old Chang the Ninth like this? Forcing him to sell his ore for dirt cheap? It's daylight robbery, pure and simple. Don't forget me. I'm in too. Oh, so <laughs> now you can hear what we're saying. The reason I borrowed this book is that it would be a real pity if Chang the Ninth ended up having to pawn it. And I meant every word I said to Chang the Ninth. I will return his act of kindness. It is the just thing to do. I will be custodian of this book, and I will also help find a way to buy back the rest of his collection. You already have a plan or you don't have a plan? Of course I do. Okay. An initial plan anyway. I still need to work out the details. Give me a second to reflect. It shan't take but a moment. You're still here? What is this, a game to you? You think no one's really gonna get hurt? <laughs> I gotta hand it to the goofball clan. Would you lack in numbers and talent you make up for in guts? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say goofball clan? I meant Guhua clan. 
<laughs> That's what you goofballs call it, right? <laughs> we just beat him up right now, but he has a name, so I don't think we are so we are fighting him. There's a saying that goes, the insect that shakes the oak tree ludicrously overestimates its ability. Uh, quit quoting proverbs at me, you buffoon. Please leave this place. I will not tolerate an attempt to coerce an honest traitor, especially when the one you seek to threaten is one to whom I owe a debt of gratitude. <sighs> it's cute that you want to stick your neck out for Chang and all, but you picked the wrong time, you little punk. I brought the Fatui to back me up. A yeah. whole army okay, of you and little Guwa buddies wouldn't be able to help you now. I may be young, my liege, but the path I have chosen makes me no stranger to conflict. Why should I cower in the face of evil? Oh, great speech. <laughs> but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. So fight. Oh boy. Oh, I'm using Jing Sing Chao. Okay. Oh, he's a. Oh, okay. You have five people here. Right? Just take out Ning Guang for now. Take care of those mosquitoes. <laughs> I want to try out seeing Charles. Uh, there's a water type. Let's see. Witness the power of Kuwa. Now you've got me worked up. Here's a shield now. Oh boy. Okay, that was just temp temporary. I that was just a regular pendant you were wearing, not a vision. <laughs> you won this round, but you better watch your back. This isn't over. Would it be too much to hope they've learned their lesson? So you're a vision bearer, more to Guhua than meets the eye, huh? Yes, though I try to avoid using it. I dislike the unfair advantage it gives me against my opponents. <laughs> Though I long to restore Guhua to its former glory, it is no easy task. They've gone for now, but they'll be back looking to cause more trouble before long. I'll see to it that no harm comes to those who show me kindness. There is a just and unjust way to do business, and I will ensure the matter is resolved satisfactorily. It's not like the Fatui to pick sides in a business hmm. dispute, but the confident demeanor of their errand boy suggests there is substance to his words. There must be a deeper level of collusion at work here. He mentioned Gentry Maotai. I know this name. He has a stately residence in Liyue Harbor. Maybe the two of you could go and investigate. That idea works. But what are you gonna do? Me? I have other things to look into. Let me see. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace in Liyue Harbor in a bit. You really have stuff to do? Are you sure you're not just using us as your errand runners? Wow, that's how that turned out. <laughs> this whole passage again. is just extraordinary. Uh, uh, usually, it's like, if you want to so know a story, you, you keep reading. Hyman just wants to slap him right in his stupid face. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but as per tradition, Paimon gets to pick an ugly nickname for him. Okay, he has a nickname now. Guhua Geek. <laughs> Guhua Geek. Get a nickname for everyone. Quest complete. It's still not over. Eh? Know thyself, know the enemy. Yeah, I think I'm just finishing up this story quest. Though. But I have a feeling this is gonna be long. <laughs> Back to here. Go to. Can three more guys residents and make inquiries. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sturdy oh, wall. What if Master finds out? Who goes there? A monster merchant here. A VIP client of your boss. Really? He didn't mention anything about a meeting. The master is dealing with some urgent business today. All prior appointments have been cancelled. Oh. Urgent business? What is it? 
<sighs> the master's been working on a major business deal recently. He left early this morning to meet with a VIP client. Oh, we should have said that then. <laughs> so, where is he now? I'm sorry. The master is stressed that we must not disclose that information to just anyone. Are you saying we are not his VIP clients? Uh, no, I, I, I mean yes, yes you are. <laughs> I, I, I meant no offense. P please believe me. Uh, would you like to explain these extra fees you are incurring to your boss, or shall I take me to Genji Maokai or suffer the consequences? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Master's currently in business negotiations at Shinya Kiosk. Senior kiosk. I, I beg for your mercy, please. My master will show me no leniency if he finds out. <laughs> well, my master has much more important things to do than talking to rude guards like you. <laughs> Luckily for you, your bad attitude will be the last thing on his mind when he's busy negotiating a big business deal with your boss. Thank you, thank you. May your business forever be blessed by the Lord of Geo. Okay. Nice work! Paimon never knew you were such a tough negotiator. I was just bluffing. You did great too. <laughs> Paimon loves compliments and all, but treating Paimon to some tasty snacks would show that you really mean it. Right. Anyway, seems like the VIP client in question must be one of the Fatui. Yeah. In that case, let's get ourselves over to the Shinyue Kiosk. We're going there. See, this business is booming at the Shinua. But either way, if we want to know what kind of shady business they're up to, we better be careful. Okay. Here? I understand. I do. Please do not worry. You have my word that the order Wait, will be completed what? as this? promised. Hmm. The subordinate I sent was not quite so optimistic in his appraisal. Is somebody being uncooperative? Uh, we just ran into a minor procurement problem, is all. We haven't managed to purchase the Core Lapis yet. Oh, I see. Okay. But it's nothing for you to worry about. If Chang the Ninth won't sell, I can buy from someone else. That would be most ideal. I remind you again that the Fatui care only about the result. We are willing to lend a certain degree of support to this transaction. But if it is not completed in time, you may suddenly find our goodwill comes at a price you cannot afford. I understand. I am indebted to you for your protection. You know I would not dream of disappointing you, don't you? Hmm. We shall see when the time comes. <laughs> Darn that old man, Chang. So, Mr. Gentry Mozai is colluding mm -hmm. with the Fatui. Who knows if Gua Geek has made any progress? Should we go tell him? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. And those guys are gone already. You said you had other things to look into, as if you're some sort of man of mystery. When actually, all you meant was you wanted somewhere new <laughs> you know. to park your backside while you read your book. You know what Gentry Mouch is up to now? I see. I guessed as much. Did you really guess, or are you just saying that to sound clever? <laughs> the course of action we must take is now clear. To start with, please deliver this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. They will know what to do. Feiyun My liege, Guild? for reasons that I cannot explain, I will be unable to join you. There is no need for you to read the contents of the letter. When the time comes... Okay. Ugh, this writing is super hard to read. Python can't make heads or tails of it. It's an ancient script. Uh, hence why I said there is no need for you to read it. Okay. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will have someone who can understand it. But well, why would you want to get them involved? They're one of the big weak commerce guilds in Liyue. Why would they want to help us? What is the Feiyun Commerce Guild? 
Since we got to Liyue, Paimon keeps hearing people mention it. Seems they oversee a lot of business that goes on around here. Having such big backing would be great and all, but are you sure they'd want to help? No need to worry about that. From what I know, they share my sense of chivalry. Once they have read the carefully reasoned and passionately argued case I put forth in this letter, they will certainly be moved to action. Why get them involved and how can you be sure? Gentry Mautsai must be taught a lesson he will never forget. This is something we cannot do on our own. Also, I do not wish for anyone else to know of my involvement in this. Why not? You're only doing this to try and help Chang the Ninth, right? Hmm. To silently disappear at the matter's conclusion. Concealing one's name and contribution. This is the chivalrous thing to do. To savor the memory is ample reward. Each droplet of kindness I receive, I am duty bound to repay with a welling spring of gratitude. I seek neither praise nor reward. That sounds very lovely. But be honest, you just want them <laughs> to do it so you can carry on reading your book, don't you? Thank you in advance for delivering this letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Someone from the guild should be able to receive you near the Oli Pavilion. Okay. <laughs> hey! Stop ignoring <laughs> Paimon! Not... Oh. Oh, it's going to be 4 o'clock. Okay, I better end my video soon. A new storm is brewing. Talk to Vine. Okay, this story quest is longer than I thought. God damn it! <laughs> Our character is currently involved in other quests. Are you kidding me? Snapshots. Um, snapshots. Which one is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess I'll stop my... Uh, I guess this is part one of this... Sing... Uh, Sing Chiu... Sing Chiu... Uh, story quest. <laughs> On the first uh, time going to Li Wei. So okay guys, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.